take it and we have to meet. One of them is to ensure that uh, the 10,000 classrooms are, uh, are built. As you are aware, there, is always, there are always issues in the city, sir. Apart from Kisumu and, uh, and Elroy, which have done extremely well, Nairobi and Mombasa are, are perennial and chronic with this type of activities. Therefore, we are still pushing. Uh, I think this is the last uh, building in Nairobi. I've been told so many stories, but the point is that it has to be completed within two weeks, as the uh, contractor has said. Uh, generally, we have done very well. Over 50% of the counties now have completed. Mombasa and Nairobi are more or less at the same level. You have seen my officers being very happy that Nairobi is at 86, and that's not good enough. Uh, on Saturday, we want to go to Bomet and mop up again in Kericho. I will send officers to go to Tanzania and then go to again. And basically, by Monday, by the grace of God, we should be able to publish for the public to see how far we have gone. And I'm hoping that by that time, a large majority of counties will have completed at 100%. Uh, after the, the, uh, the new president is uh, sworn in on, on the 13th, it will now depend on how quickly he forms his cabinet. Before that cabinet is formed, if there is 1% left, you can be very sure that you are sincerely will move around and complete it. That is what we were taught to do when we were at Tarebo Center. And I think it is never complete until it is all complete. I want to thank you for the support of the, the media. Unless you have something you want to ask, pertaining to what you Yes. Many counties have, I can give you, uh, if you know the counties that form uh, the central region, they are all at 100%. If you know the counties that form the northeastern region, they are all at 100%. If you know the counties that form Nyanza region, they are all at uh, 100%. In Kakamega, where I was, and where you have seen the social media battering me to help, the simple fact that I was there and gave them uh, two days ultimatum, they have now moved to 97.5% and they'll be finishing by tomorrow. So uh, by and large we have over, we have 47 countries but we, are, we have over about 24 countries that have completed. A large number at 99% and that's why we are going to continue to push them. I have no doubt in my mind that uh, the Rift Valley which is the largest has a sizable number of countries that are completed. But we have a, a problem in Tanzania and another problem in uh, El Geo Maraquet, which we are dealing with. I feel I have to go back to uh, Bomet and Kericho. And uh, tomorrow I will be, on, on Thursday I'll be in uh, Kwale and Mombasa. In the coast, we already have 100% in, uh, in Lamu, in Tana River, and in and in Kilifi, in the Rift Valley, there's a large number, starting with West Pokot, Nandi, and many others, um, like Kipia. There, there are about, out of uh, 13, we are talking about six counties that are already at uh, 100. Nakuru, which is the largest, is at uh, 96%, and I've been told that within two days, it will be at 100%. So I think, uh, like I say, it is what you measure that you can do. And uh, as a government, well, as a person, first of all, I have never failed. I'm not going to fail in this one. Sometimes the language is a little bit uh, stern, but that is my worst. And uh, like I said, we want to leave uh, a house that is clean for the incoming minister so that he doesn't have to start wondering what is this and that. And so 
With regards to payment, we are continuing to pay. The money is there, but there are processes. That payment may spill into the next government. But if the building has been done and opened, then the public has built should pay. Because in any, in any case, we are building about 788,000 shillings. You had a bit of noise in Nakuru that they wanted to go to uh, to add the money to 1.1 million. It's all hogwash and politics. If they are at 96 percent, what? Why? Who? Who is this that is saying they should take the money to 1.1 million? That will be for the next lot, maybe in two or three years' time. It's a ten cents. Very politely, and in the, who, who are you and from? Thank you. I am not seeing any hiccups. I'm not seeing any hiccups. I think the, the private schools that uh, are racing to do the labs are doing so well. When there are hiccups, I said we, we are going to 10th and I will still be in government on 10th. If there is need for us to extend, we will watch and we will come back to you. But for now, we don't feel there is need. You know, again, Kenyans like Kenyans. Between the parents, the child and the teacher. That conversation is so important. And uh, I, I think uh, as I leave uh, government, the most important thing I've seen in the CBC, which is the takeaway, is that we are, we are going back to make the family. The child is going to engage the parent once again. And this is actually the most transformative aspect of the CBC. And uh, this selection is the start of that process. That's a, a difficult and embarrassing question because one, I am not looking for a job. That's why you can, you can take that to the bank. So nobody should mistake me that I'm completing this work in order to see that I'm going to do it. But if, uh, if in his wisdom uh, the, the president-elect thought that I could even be half worthy to be considered, we would have a conversation with him. We would have a conversation with him because I'm now connected with the, the children, the poor children. And uh, if uh, we are thinking in the same direction and he gives me the support that I require, which would mean that I do things the way he wants and not any other person, then you, you may, if it is God's will, I will say yes. But otherwise, uh, I, it is not even in my mind. I believe so strongly the cross that I've had in my chest for 40 years protects me and whatever God wants me to do, uh, the time would come. And if, they, if it doesn't happen, so be it. It's not an issue. There, there are people, by, by the way, I would want to ask you, don't you know that there are so many people falling all over the place for those jobs right now? There, there, there are so many of them. I shall not be one of them. Are we together? This is the last one. <laughs> The new, uh, the, the competency-based curriculum did not start with the CS Mahora. I found the train already moving. So I took it over from there and moved it energetically together with all, all of you to where it is now. The most important thing that uh, the government must remember is that CBC is not a money gazer. That's one. It is not a money gazer. You just must make sure that you get value for money. And it is not going to be easy for government officers to get value for money because they have a culture of doing things in a particular manner. Are we together? And the best example are these classrooms, which we have done at 78,000. And I can tell you that uh, people who completed them, some of them have bought cars, some are doing well in business. So if they get uh, uh, an officer who is going to make sure that uh, there is zero tolerance to corruption within the ministry. That would be the biggest thing because the money is actually there. 
it would then mean that uh, they embark on another set of classrooms in the new year because uh, we still need another set of classrooms. If it can be done at on or around this price, it will be extremely good because that is the only uh, bottleneck that I'm seeing. They will also have to invest in teachers and you know uh, Dr. Ruto's government has already pronounced himself in public that he's going to employ 56,000 teachers in two years. So that will give us an automatic answer to the teacher requirement for CBC and others. Uh, I think basically everything else is in place. The books, the policies that were made even before I came there, like every child having a book, that is going to continue on, on a one-to-one -one basis. So I think, uh, in my view, as I go, the elephant in the room is getting value for money. That is, that is a disease, and it's not only in my ministry. It's everywhere. We have 400, 544 billion shillings as a ministry. People see that money as being too much, and how much can you put in your pocket? But I've been with you in Islam, so you know that that money has honors. So as long as the money is put to the right use, the person will, uh, will succeed. But then the bottleneck is that, uh, from my experience, I've noticed that for a minister, and this is personal, my work is not in Jogo House, you know that. The work is outside there in the schools. So I hope that the person who is coming can, even if he doesn't run around like I do, like a headless chicken, he, he tries a little bit to go and check whether what he has been told is correct. And the example is like uh, somewhere it was in Gishu. We were being told that uh, a building was at a roofing level. So when I sent uh, my CS, Dr. Sarah Ruto there, she found that even the slab had not been going. Now if we, have, if we had not been going around, perhaps by now we would have been at 100 percent, but the number of buildings we built would just be about 10 percent. So that is the elephant in the room. If the person who is coming uh, is, is aware of that, there should be no problem. Everything else is possible. Managing the parents uh, is a continuous process. Uh, it's a, a love-hate relationship. In terms of uh, taking the children out of school, I think uh, we should continue to encourage the uh, parent-teachers associations as the safety valve to protect uh, the poor children. Finally, the Elimu Scholarship, which in my view is one of the Kenyatta's very sterling achievement. The Elimu Scholarship now has 27,000 poor children that we took from slums across the country, Nyeri, Kiandupi, Kiandupi, everywhere. And uh, these children have scholarships for four years, but the money comes yearly. That money is being managed by Equity Bank, so that the money goes to the right poor child we got from Kandutu or elsewhere. We are not in a position yet to manage that money, because then we shall transfer it to our children and relatives. And those 27,000 children could be knocked out of schools like Elias and Water. So there is so much that I'm going to put in the form of a white paper for the incoming person. If he likes to move on from there, that's fine. But if he wants to 